So most streamers know that nowadays it's not just about streaming for as long as you can. The grind for the content is real and serving that content on different platforms is a big part of what you want to be doing now as a content creator. You want to be getting your video on Instagram. You want to be getting your video on YouTube. You want to be getting your video on TikTok. And consequently, something you might want to do is record your face cam and your gameplay separate to when you're streaming. So let's discuss how we can do this. So why would you want to record your face cam and your gameplay separate to the actual recording of the full stream? Well, reactions. They are a big part of what makes gaming content so unique. You get super scared playing a game of Phasmophoria. You get super hyped playing a game. Those gameplay moments and your reactions are the things that can get traction from a marketing perspective from your content. Like from the most exciting parts of the stream, those are the parts you want captured. Now, why would you want to record the gameplay and the face cam separately? Well, because these platforms we mentioned, like Instagram, like TikTok, as you know, they're doing a portrait thing. And when you're recording in 16 by 9, which is how we do our streams for the most part, if we're going to Twitch or YouTube or Facebook, that never looks great when you put it in portrait. Your camera, like the actual reaction of you, is now tiny on like a phone screen that people are watching this stuff on and you can't see it anymore. So by recording things separate, you've got options in post-production of what you can do. So let's discuss how you can do that. So this is super easy to do in XSplit Broadcaster. First, you wanna set up different sources for your gameplay, for your face cam, and then just obviously all your usual scenes for a stream. Then create new recording outputs. Set the record target to the scene you wish to record. Now, I recommend using hardware encoders if you've got access to them because you're gonna be encoding three separate things now. So stuff's gonna start get going. Fans are gonna get going on your computer. So if you've got access to hardware encoders, I suggest using them. Then you just start recording whenever you're ready to go. You can actually set macros in XSplit Broadcaster that can set it so all of this starts recording with just one to two key presses. So it's easy to do once you get going. Everything's recording as you want it to. And now you have your face cam, you have your gameplay, and you have your whole stream all being recorded whilst you're streaming and ready for post-production. Also, I recommend using multi-track audio on your recordings because then you can separate out the gameplay, your voice, all that stuff in post-production and you can kind of mess with things for the video that's going out on TikTok. You can really elevate the parts you want to elevate or de-emphasize parts you don't want to elevate for the Instagram reel. Like, you're good to go. If you have any questions about this, let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, do give it a like and do be sure to subscribe to our channel because we've got stuff coming out like this all the time. But I've got to say, if you are looking to market your content at the moment, doing stuff like this has got to be a tool in your arsenal to get you going online. So let us know what you've been doing in the comments below and thank you very much for watching.